everybody and welcome to Sid Meier's Starships. What is Sid Meier's Starships? Well, it's a game that got released a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> well, not like a couple of hours ago, actually. Very, very new game. It's a Sid Meier's game. What does that mean? That means... Triple X game? No, it's not Triple X game. It's the 5X game. 5X, right? Explore, expand, exploit, exterminate, ex... I forget, there's five X's there, and and you need to do them, that's the point of the game. It's a grand strategy game. As most Sid Meier's, game, Sid Meier's games, you should know what to expect. Very reminiscent of Civilizations, or other Civilization. And uh, it should be pretty damn obvious what it is and what it's all about. Right, we're going to be starting up a new Let's Play of this. Uh, so yes, this is Let's Play... Um, Sid Meier's Starships. So, I may call it Civilization occasionally, just because, well, reasons. I've played Civilization uh, Beyond Earth on this channel, and it kind of reminds a lot of that. Uh, it kind of reminds the either the prequel or the sequel to that game. How, kind of the sequel, yeah. In, in a sort of uh, timeline way, if you will. Uh, so, yeah. Supremacy, Harmony of Purity, you got these in, in that game, you now have them in this one as well. Uh, reserves on the history of the people and their human characteristics, you receive double uh, resource rewards for completing missions. Harmony, uh, kingship of all living things, starships are repaired at half cost. Supremacy believes in the advancement of technology and science, the civilization starts with one random world wonder already built. We're going to be playing as Kozlov, I believe. I've sort of looked through these a little bit to see what happens. I've not actually touched the game yet. We're going to be playing on medium with all victories enabled. This might not be a full playthrough, but it is going to be a partial playthrough. Definitively. And let's see here. Travel to neighboring stars to complete missions to gain influence. Complete missions to gain influence to... Ring sessions, blah blah blah. And four influence ring sessions to make a system part of your federation. Uh huh. Alright. This is a tutorial, I believe. I've enabled tutorial because I haven't played this game yet. We're going to be playing through it together in a way. Uh, so, anytime you'd like some advice, press the advice button. We'll scan the database for the most appropriate suggestion. That's good. Thank you. Uh, upgrade our ships. We can do that. We can also woo. woo, woo. <laughs> can also do that. All right. Uh, sort of see our ships here, and we can upgrade them in various ways, shapes, and forms. We have a thousand energy right now. Let's not do anything yet, though. We can build cities. There's five billion people living on this particular place. I will play the music and the sound effects uh, louder than this, but I'm afraid that, um, well, there aren't, they really aren't that good. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but they really aren't that good. Um, so th this will be us, Vladimir Petrovich. Kozlov uh, of the United Federation. I don't think we got to choose our. Um, I don't think we got to choose our like country name and, and starting stuff and all that, which is a bit weird, I suppose. I prefer to have more choice in this game, to be honest. Like from what I've seen thus far, there's not a lot of customization, not a lot of. Not what you sort of a dumbed down a little bit, if I have to say so, uh, version of of um, of what's it called, of civilization, yeah. But also very different. Not like this is not civilization. You can see it is hex based and everything, but this is not civ. And there is something obviously unique to this to this game. And there is five billion people living here, as I said. It has a naval tradition, which I suppose is good. I mean, naval can also mean spaceship. You know, can doesn't have to, but can. Uh, we can buy and sell resources. There's energy, metal, food, and science. Mm, we're not going to buy metal at any point, I imagine, because we have extra production of metal. 
Uh, we can sell some metal. In fact, I think I will sell two of these metal things to start off with. So, yeah. Um, okay, we've done that. Spaceopedia, obviously. Market, research, wonders, improvement cities, blah, 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 biomass types, resources, affinities, stuff like that. This is more or less a testing sort of episode and and um, stuff. So we do have extra metal production. I believe this shows what you're going to produce next turn, I hope. That is what this shows. Um, as far as improvements go, can I build anything? No, I require 1,500 metals to build one of these things. And I will build them. Next turn, I imagine, there's improvements so I'm going to be first, because we can't build a city, that seems a bit advanced for now. Sure leave, this will end your turn, reset your crew and collect your resources. Alright, that's the end turn button, basically. Upgrade, research new technology, I imagine we need to do that. We actually spend research points on this. Okay. Mm, damage caused by torpedo detonation, damage caused by short range... Plasma. Yeah, it's sort of like a simplified tech um, thingamajig from, from the previous game. You used to have a huge, huge t tech tree, now it's just some flat out upgrades. It is, I should mention, this is not a full price release. Obviously, this is not a Civilizations game, this is something of a different game, it just resembles Civilization. Uh, so as I said, this episode was sort of more of a, um, a way of, of testing out the waters and seeing if there's any, uh, many people actually on YouTube interested. Um, interested in me playing this and interested in me in, in watching me play this as uh, the game is fairly new and I believe that if I upload it soon enough that, that it is going to attract some attention if you want to see me play through this obviously you know just drop like ratings down below and your views help and you know, this gets enough views I will continue playing it obviously because people will be interested in it obviously you know it's, it's pretty self explanatory how this entire YouTube thing works if you want it you get it <laughs> alright uh, I think Ion Drive is the first thing we're going to go, and we're going to upgrade it in by one. Um, so there goes our research points. Uh, as far as our planetary defense goes, it's at three. Um, I'm don't expect, I don't expect to be attacked by anyone yet. Um, countdown to disaster, the Thuringian Fallacy, dis uh, Distress Call, Deep Space Encounter. This gives repairs, this gives... Defenders. I think I'm going to go here. It's Earth-like biome. Produces 50% additional food. Food. Energy. Science. I guess we're going to go for food. Approaching Alright. So here we go! Uh, tell me... Provide me with some advice should maximize the power of our flagship for this mission, alright. This is the unique part of, of, you know, us doing stuff. It's not a Civ game in the traditional sense. You'll see what it is. It's, it just resembles a Civ game. Kinda, and not that directly, even. Uh, build repair spaceships. Can I upgrade? Yes, it costs energy. I have some energy. Or is that money? I'm pretty sure it's... I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's good. We have these two ships. We can add a ship for a thousand. That's what I just did. Now I have three ships. Quantity over quality. It is the Russian way. And we are Space Russia once more. You remember when we were Space Russia in the previous game? Yeah. So our flagship has detected a small pilot squadron in the middle of repairs. If we move quickly, we can ambush them before they can escape. Our remaining ships are en route, but it will be, but will be delayed engage. Uh, tell me more about the enemy vessels. Probably, probability is 71%. Uh, two fighter squadrons, 15 health, one engines, one plasma cannons. Keep our distance and dominate at first, then close in for the kill. I imagine because plasma cannons are short range from what I've gathered. I should note one more time, this is the first time I've played the game. I've seen a little of it, but... As far as playing wise, this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm just sort of concluding things as we go that are pretty damn obvious from based on what I what I saw and based on just pure logic. So if, if I sound professional, believe me I'm not. This is the first time I'm playing. 
Um, yeah, engage. Yes, our, our flagship. Fl sorry, flagship is up to the task. And here we go. So the enemy starts off. Uh, yeah, they start off first. It is turn based. All right. Expected it to be. So question: line of fire is blocked. Line of fire is blocked. We should. What we should do is get in a position where we can actually, actually launch fighters, which is damn interesting. We should get in a position where, well, I'm not sure what we should do, to be honest. Am I selecting the different ships? Yeah, I am. Okay. Mm hmm. This one has five move. I'm guessing that's what the indicator below is showing. This one has four move. Can we do four, four move and then shoot, is my question, which is uh, something I should test out. From here, the line of fire, I don't think it will be blocked. Here, line of fire is blocked because of that. But these guys need to either go through it, and then, I don't think they can go through it, even though they are small ships. Uh, I think they need to go around or something. And if they can go through, then they're kind of fucked. So what we're going to do is we're going to split up the fleet. Um, one is going to maneuver in sort of this position. And we can fire a torpedo in this direction. I did not mean to fire a fucking torpedo. Shit, can we... Alright, let's save game. Yeah, let's save right there before we do something stupid again. Um... Question, if I were to move here, I would then be able to attack them, right? Right put this fire. So we're going to shoot nice shot. and do... Uh, we, we just flat out destroyed them, alright? End turn. Let's see what they do. As suspected, they're sort of moving around and firing through. 16 damage. Um, run. And detonate it over there, because it's not exactly going to be any useful. We're going to move to this point Entering in time, passage. in space. Uh, with all Entering of our ships, if at all possible. And then nice the attacking damage thing. Um, alright. Trade route established with Piscean. Well, that was very easy, but it's the first mission. I don't expect it to be difficult. I have no idea why my split, why my ship, the ships at the end sort of split up. Uh, that I find very weird and concerning. Uh, we can build cities, build improvements, or buy influence. What will buying influence do us do for us? Rather, sorry. Um, for a thousand five hundred credits, no, that doesn't seem like it's worth it. We can build a city. For 1,500 food. Or we could build improvements. Which one of these things? Uh, increase food production. Yeah, Aquifer let's do that. Alright. And as far as my ships go, uh, I can't do anything to them right now. So we're going to enter. Well, apparently we're not alone in the galaxy. Good day. I am... You are player two. Second Galactic Alliance, yeah. Tell me about your territories. Uh, what have you been up to? Uh, I'm sure this galaxy is large enough for both of us. Certainly plenty of room. We prefer to live in peace with our neighbours. Perhaps we should conclude a peace treaty agreeing to respect each other's borders. Yes, let, the, let peace be our destiny. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't want to attack the first guy I come across. Um, so yeah. Now I have other matters to attend to, in other words, goodbye. Uh, I am... They could move, they moved twice, I didn't Receiving know you could do all that. Resources from Pythian. I see your 17, crew is in the planet, your presence is most appreciated, plus one influence, we now have partial repair of this, but 75% now support the Federation, we're pleased to share all our resources with your Federation. Alright, nice, we have them, right? Well, more or less. Um, one of those things. We can build a city. Yeah, we can build a city properly, and I think we shall. There goes all our food for this turn. Um, as far as ships go, we can we uh, repair? Yes, good. 
and it's time to upgrade our ships and then move on because we have plenty of energy, right? So, uh, shields, 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 shields. And engines, torpedo, plasma cannon, laser, armor, stealth. Is that zero for all of them? Fighters. Mm, this is by this for now. And move fleet to this part of the. Alright. Our sun's about to flare and marauders will time their raid to this disaster. If the flare doesn't destroy us, we'll have to face the marauders. Will you help our station evacuate? Uh, Provide some advice. Protect the colony ships at all cost. Uh, what about the enemy set. vessels? Oh god, there is plenty of them. Corvettes. Turn one, turn two, turn three. They come in waves. All right. Uh, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start this mission. Escort these guys. All right. And there goes the first corvette. I'm gonna sort of move in and destroy it. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save this, right? And this is, as I said, this is sort of testing waters, I suppose, more than anything else. We have our ships here. We shall attack and destroy the enemy next turn, next time rather, on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. My name has been Juggernaut. Uh, please remember to like and comment down below if you want to see more of this and if you enjoy the game and what you think about it. I'd love to share your, uh, love to, well, not to share your opinions. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Uh, this is my first time playing through it, and I'd like to see what other people have to say about it. You know, any critique and advice is, is very well, very, very much welcome, obviously. Um, as I said, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, take care.